Okay, so um, this is like my fifth attempt, so we'll see. Um, I was going to show y'all how to get into Archive Manager because I know a lot of y'all or a lot of teachers have been emailing me asking how to access the student evaluations and they are on campus, but if where they are is usually in the counselor's office and if they're tied up, you know, it can be difficult to get in there if they're not there for a few days. So we really all have access, all the special ed teachers have access to this information on your account. But I just, you know, I don't think y'all are aware of how to do that. So I was just gonna um, run through that. And I'm at my house because I just got out of a training at Region 8 actually. So I don't know, I just thought, you know what, these people, they probably, <laughs> want to do this at their house tonight and you know I'm not who am I to keep y'all from doing that so first thing you're gonna do is log in okay so we're in and you can you can get to this um, from either special ed or archive it's easier on archive um, so I'll just show y'all that way it's easier to learn that way I do it a complicated way because I just learned the other way so I'll teach all the easy, easy way so you go to archive and then archive manager and then your student should pop up or you can sort it to whatever campus you're at, or you're at to get to the students so um i just have these two for this account because it's like my test account i guess so um you see there's two an active and a draft remember the draft is for when you're planning for an annual when you're looking at archive documents it doesn't matter which one you go into because both of those students listed are tied to the same account because it's the same student we're pulling from PEAMS so um, all past records are in there so it's good either one so I'll just show you all for drafts so just to show um, so you come up with these options remember you need to um, select the right one because we um, if that's ever pulled you could be questioned on it I mean I doubt that would happen but you know I don't you know who am I who am I to say so I don't know Okay, so we are reviewing the student's IEP. That's what we want to do. We'll see. Okay, so we go in. And what's going to happen is you're going to see all of these like this and then the little PDF symbols right there because they're all going to be PDFs. The thing is, since y'all are high school, there could be tons of documents. And if there's tons, the easiest way is to just sort it by date archived. And you can kind of see the newest stuff is going to be the most updated. And sometimes it takes a while to sort through it. The problem is if we get a new student and they move in, everything's going to be the date that they moved in, which I hate. So hopefully the last district named it, renamed their stuff. I've been trying to rename mine so it'll say like the ARD will be just the date like if it was today it would be 09-24-2019 and then my evaluations say um the same thing 09-24-2019 and then they'll say q dash and then i'll list their eligibilities i'm just kind of weird about that because at my um i worked for districts that were very particular so you'll know it's mine because um, OCD okay anyways tangent um, so yeah um, this will have the arts this will have the evaluations amendments pretty much anything pertaining to the student is going to be in here and you know if you get a new student and you're like something is going on beyond what I know this is a great way you can read the arts from last year and kind of see exactly you know what those teachers saw how that meeting went if the parent was there just good data so and a lot of times you know you're like oh well I don't know because they didn't take benchmarks with us or they didn't take this assessment you can look in there and it'll have um, what they did at the previous school so very helpful you know if you're just needing data on a student or if your principal wants you to get data on a student or any of those things so i mean this i hope this answers some questions i just wanted to not let y'all know that y'all have access to all students evaluations and arts and this is how you would get there and like i said there will probably be a lot more files than a real student but okay so hope this helps if not just 
tell me it didn't. <laughs> I'll figure it out or I can come help you. Or you can just continue to um, get it from the counselor. But uh, that's, I mean, it's way easier just to pull it up on here and you can look anywhere. But all right. Well, thank y'all. And remember, um, just email or text me if you need anything at all.